Right, well, if you called it Saturday, you said this game will be a, a good benchmark for us, and we've put a bloody good performance in, haven't we? Yeah, I think we were excellent, mate, to be fair. And, and um, the, the only disappointment for me at half time was the fact that we weren't in front. Yeah. Um, again, we've had a, a little bit of a. Some, some of it's self inflicted again. Um, I'm really, I'm really desperate for him to learn the lessons and, and quickly. Um, playing in wrong areas for the first. We warned them that Penistone were strong um, on mm. set pieces. Um, obviously, the ball's pinging around in the air in the box in the, uh, for the second. Um, but I thought, um, other than five minutes spent first half, and I thought for the whole second half, I thought we were outstanding. Yeah. Um, I really did. That, that, that's the most complete performance that we've put in so far yeah, this agree, season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, lads are starting to look fitter, they're starting to look sharper, they're starting to um, learn what we want from them uh, with and without the ball. Um, and the biggest thing, um, I mean, like I've said, is that we're starting to stick ball it back at night. Yeah. And ultimately, that's the difference. Yeah. You know. Um, so, um, you know, as you can chat in there off, off, off air, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever be disrespectful to Peniston, but I think we left a few more goals out there as well tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but um, but they finished fourth or fifth last season. Um, I think they're up there in third so far this season. The big red house in FA Cup. Um, so they're a decent side. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, must make no bones about it. But that tonight's all about us. I thought we were outstanding. Yeah. And um, I've got a single Keelan Grist out here in the Hoover, haven't he? Fantastic, and I think his, his energy, um, I, you know, there's a temptation always to obviously play leagues, he's a bit more experienced, yeah, but of course is, yeah. I just think about their two centre-backs tonight and, and then they look pace would worry him, yeah. um, which is why, to be fair, we left the team the same as, as Saturday because we felt that that 11 deserved to start. Yeah. There were some great contributions on Saturday for off the bench um, and there's been some great contributions again Definitely, off the yeah. bench yeah. Um, and everybody's played the part um, and, um, you know, I, I think second half as well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm harsh sometimes with our defenders, and, and rightly so, because some of some of the goals were considered um, sloppy to say the least. Mm. I thought defensively we looked strong second yeah. half as well. Yeah. Um, and um, Charlie, I can't remember other than feeling that cross having anything to do mm. with second half, um, which against a good side yeah. is yeah. Um, it, it, it is, fantastic. Um, and like I said, I, I, I'm not certainly I'm, I'm too level headed to get carried away. Um, yeah. But they've set yeah. standards tonight, mm. um, and we need to try and stick to them standards more often than not. Of course, we won't always reach them, um, but um, we're certainly going to have to try and attain those standards. And if we do, um, then slowly but surely we'll start to become a decent side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, you know we've got to quickly dust ourselves down, enjoy tonight. Obviously, yeah. But start to uh, excuse me, start to think about um, Yorkshire matches on Saturday. Yeah. On Saturday. Yeah. Um, I don't care what league positions are; it's too early. Mm. Um, yeah. the Yorkshire matches won't be an easy game. Um, we've got all of our respect. Um, but as I said, you know they've set standards tonight, and um, they will hear about it if they don't reach those standards or, or that they've set for themselves. We haven't done it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not me, Chicken Rudy, really, that's done that. They've done that themselves. Um, so it's up to them now to, to, to try and add consistency yeah. um, to the games. And if you get that, then then we'll be in a uh, we'll be in a good place. Yeah. Yeah. Only slight like down with Corey and Nock quite early on where it hadn't come off. Yeah. Um, obviously, we'll have to wait a day or two for them to be assessed and see what's going Sky's really, really tight. I'm not sure if it's a pull or just a um, just overuse from the games that we've played. Yeah. Um, he's got a little bit of a break in the way um, now um, for a, a week and a half, so that might do it good. But um, yeah, he's important to us. Um, but I have to again, I think Nathan went on. Um, Nathan yeah. actually went on and did ever so well. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's what you need squads for. Um, you can, you're not always going to be strongest um, players and, and your strongest eleven out on the field and. When opportunities come your way, if you've been on the bench or whatever, or you've not been in squads, right. then yeah. when that opportunity comes, you need to take it. I think Nathan did. Like I said Nathan did ever so, well. but it's wrong to single anybody out. I, is, think, yeah. I think they were. Yeah. I think they were 15, 16, um, very, very big performances yeah. there tonight. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, that's the best squad performance, isn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, the most, most, um, most complete performance that we've put in so far. Yeah. Um, lots of control um, in both halves from us, um, dictating play, dictating possession. Really, really good without the ball tonight, I thought as well. Yeah. Um, in terms of the way that we closed down, work rate were off the scale. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Um, and you get and you get responses like we did from the fans when you know when they yeah. can see you putting a shift in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're playing decent stuff. Yeah. Then then the, you're giving them something to get behind you, you're giving them something to support. And, so that's the intention. Uh, we, like I said, we won't always get it right. Yeah. Um, it was a good night for us tonight. We'll enjoy it, but we'll quickly move on to um, when it yeah. turns attention to Saturday night. Yeah, yeah you mentioned crowd. I was going to mention it as well. Um, if you turn tonight to watch that, you're going to want to come back, aren't you, hopefully? 
I would hope so. Um, I don't know what the gate were again, but they yeah, look, like, look like there were good numbers in again for yeah. the midweek. Yeah. Obviously, we've not had too many Saturday home games yet. Um, <laughs> but um, at, at Peniston, always usually bring a few, so they'll, they'll have um, swelled the crowd a little bit. But like I said, yeah, if, if you put a product on the pitch that people uh, that enthuses people and makes people want to come and part with their hand earned money, yeah. then you're, on a, you know, you're doing something right. Um, and, and when those are draw, if they can see that you're trying and you put 100% in and, yeah. and there's a plan and there's a and there's a system and there's a style <clears throat> it's something that people can get behind yeah. um, you know so that's that's where we're at but we're still really in the infancy of it and we've yeah. still got lots and lots of work to do before we're anywhere near what I want us to be and what I want for Fickley Athletic you know so long may it continue you know we want to keep trying to pick results up um, as we go um, and um, league, league table will look a little bit brighter today um, for everybody um, and if we get three points on Saturday it'll look different again 